I do this message in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and my Savior. I'm here to remind you that the authority is always and always will be the Word of God, the Bible, the Word, not me, a man, or a woman. My job is to remind you to go back to the Word of God and test everything, every spirit, every word that you hear against that, for that is the truth. I want to thank everybody for your support, for your messages, for your revelations, insights, teachings, but most especially for your prayers and for sharing and showing love to one another. This is the most important thing at this point, that you show love to one another and you direct all of your attention to the Lord Jesus, turn away from the world, completely abandon sin and turn away from any distraction that's taking you away from giving your attention to the Lord Jesus Christ in Nazareth in prayer, in fasting, in devotion, in worshiping, in fellowshipping with others, brothers and sisters, and certainly in reading the Word of God. I have plans to do shorter videos with shorter explanations. As you know, the longer teachings take really a long amount of time between the studying and then the organization of the charts. So I'm planning to do shorter teachings because the time is short and I want to make sure I give you guys as much information from the Lord and teachings from the Holy Spirit as I can. So I'm going to do my best to intensify the video production. I'm going to read you the message and there will be an explanation at the end which I find incredibly encouraging and certainly very, very interesting and eye-opening to a lot of the questions that perhaps some of you have. So I'm going to encourage you to stay until the end of the message. I received this message on February 2nd, 2023 at 2.38 p.m. The message says, Right, son, I am at the door. Time is no more. Right, son, there is a well and a river of water. Right, son, that a time of offense is coming. Saddle the horse, in quotes, for the time of Jonathan, the arrow flew. Now, listen to these words, son, for they are peace and understanding. Like the eagles fly, out of the mouth of the serpent came water and wine not like the miracle of Cana. For deception runs rampant. Worry not about your mother. I have all times appointed. Worry not about your children, for all is under my control, and my authority commands all things. I love you, son. You have done well. Now return to your business. Lord Jesus, Yeshua, Amen. I love you. I love you, Lord. So I'm going to fly through the chart as usual so we can keep the message short and compressed and I try to keep it as simple as possible. I appreciate the comments saying that you would like to have the message a little simpler. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm also going to post here a second message which I received on February 1st, 2023 at 1 17 p.m. Now it should be readable. So please go ahead and you can screenshot it, you can read it, and uh, that will allow you to follow some of the other conclusions that go on here. So let's start. The first idea here is that we're going to talk about the restrainer because there's a lot of confusion as per what his, is the restrainer. And the idea is that the Holy Spirit finally led me to a major, major confirmation of what the restrainer really is. And while I've talked about the restraint in previous videos, and we always knew it was the Holy Spirit, and certainly the church that has been taken out, which then confirms so many other things, this confirmation comes in in a powerful way that you all want to listen to. So 2 Thess Thessalonians 2 verse 6 says, from the King James, And now you know what withholdeth, the restrainer, that he might be revealed in his time. Okay? Now, it's 2 Thessalonians 2, 6, verse 6. Okay? 
and the word for restrainer is the fourth word in the Greek, kai nun to katekon. Okay, kai nun to katekon is the fourth word. So this gives us two two six four, the restrainer to be revealed in its time. What time? The time the restrainer will be revealed when he's taken out of the way, which would be in the next verse. This gives us the number 2-2 two, two for 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 6, fourth word. Now look at what happens when we reverse. This is, this is where we're learning. And we go to the Hebrew, reverse or, or palindrome, 4622. 2264, 4622. And we get mats, mats or. Mats or means to restrain. Guys, we cannot make this up. This is unbelievable. Not only that, but Matsor is the Hebrew 4622, only has one occurrence, meaning it only appears one time in the Bible. And where is that? Is in 1 Samuel 14, verse 6. And he says, And Jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor, Come. Let us go over unto the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us. For there is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. And if we continue on and go to verse 10, it says, But if they say thus, come up unto us, then we will go up. And verse 12, and said, come up to us. And then verse 14, and there was trembling in the host, in the field, and among all the people, the garrison, the spoilers, they also trembled, and the earth quaked. So it was a very great trembling. So this is about Jonathan, Saul's son. And Jonathan, it says in 1 Samuel 14, 1, but he, Jonathan, it's not, Jonathan is not written, but he told not his father. Now, who else didn't do that? That was Samson. That's Judges 14, 6. Look at these numbers. We'll talk about them in a minute. But he, Samson, told not his father. That's the same exact verse. One for Jonathan, one for Samson. They're both up against the Philistines. And what happens to Samson in that particular chapter that we now know so well? That's Judges 14. That's where he goes to get his bride, his gentle bride, which we've studied so well. We, mo we know what that means. That's the rapture. But here is the massive revelation. Because where is the bride from? When we go to, to Samson, the Judges 14, verse 1, And Samson went down to Timnath, and saw a woman in Timna of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up, verse 2, and told his father and his mother. The woman is from Timna. And Timna is incorrectly written in King James. It's supposed to be Timna. And Timna means the restraint. So she is the restrainer. She is the restrainer, meaning Samson, which is a typology of Christ comes to pick up his bride, which is the restraining, meaning she is the bride or the church, filled with the Holy Spirit, which is the restrainer. This is an, a massive confirmation which tells us that yes, indeed, 2 Thessalonians 2.6 is talking about the bride, is talking about the church, is talking about the Holy Spirit as the restrainer to be taken out before the man of sin, the lawless one, is revealed. So this was confirmed by a number of things, and especially by a video by our sister, Blessed Hope 17, which really talks about the same verse, 2 Thessalonians 2, 6. And she says she, she was not familiar with the verse, and she had a dream in which she's confirmed that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit. So this was done. Uh, my confirmation came, my teaching from the Holy Spirit came before I watched that video. So her video was confirmation of that. Not only that, but another video from her talks about the cup of water. And this is all over the message that we received. So again, when we go into the message, I have these round boxes. Uh, the message talks about a time of offense. And then we talked about the arrow, the water I just mentioned, Cana, which also is in the same message 
of Blessed Hope 17, the serpent and the eagles. These are really major, major confirmations. I won't be spending a lot of time into them, but I have the verses here that you guys should absolutely look up because it will blow your mind. One is 1 Peter 2 for the rock of offense, which also confirms the other message I posted er earlier of February 1st. Then there is the mother, which is both in Jeremiah 59, uh, Jeremiah 59 is actually something we want to spend a little bit of time on because in the message the Lord says a time of offense is coming and then saddle the horse for the time of Jonathan the arrow flew and so when we go to Jeremiah 59 it says for lo I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations for, from the north country they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And then the whole sequence of Jeremiah, which we can see here. We have Jeremiah 47 when he talks about the wheels. And then we have the Jeremiah 46. And he talks about against Egypt. Uh, with the horses to be settled and then finally here the Jeremiah 50 which talks about Babylon with the arrow so the purple says Babylon and then we have against the Philistines we have against all nation tribulation Egypt so we're talking about tribulation but what's particular about this verse is that when he's saying that these are arrows they shall be of a mighty expert man none shall return in vain he's talking about targeting precise missiles rockets anything that is is such precision they will basically come to destroy and we are talking about babylon so it's it's really a pointing out of a tribulation starting with a series of massive conflicts probably around the world and in certain areas that we're familiar with knowing that this coinciding with the restrainer being taken out of the way which is the rapture of the church and the lawless one coming in this is amazing when we go and look at the deuteronomy 32 31 and 33 where it really talks about the difference between the cana the lord mentioned the difference between the cana and the serpent where in the message says understanding like the eagles fly out of the mouth of the serpent came water and wine not like the miracle of cana so it's really showing us the difference between the lawless one and the bride of the church or the miracle of the church of the wine which comes where it says in john 2 1 10 um, in verse 2 uh, in verse 10 says the good wine was left for last indicating that this is the last good wine or the church to be taken out so it is my understanding from all the teachings and the words I received and of course the time I spent in the Word of God that we're about to enter into what I've um, explained as the window. And once the window is open, anything can happen at any time. And as you've heard from this message, the bride will be taken first. Now first could mean many things, of course, and we don't know the sequence, exact sequence of events but what we know is, is within the window, it is very likely, it's very possible that not only the rapture will happen, but many other events of a worldly dimension that will shake all people and for which we have to be prepared. So as with all things, discernment above all things. The Word of God is our reference. I'm never going to stop saying this. And it's true that the Lord speaks to many of his children and gives them many different messages. I'm not going to discredit anybody, for I believe it's possible, as you know, that anybody can receive a message. I will continue to confirm any and all my messages with Scripture. And I continue to do the work which takes days, hours, and time to put together so that I don't just share a message but that I am grounding you into scripture, sending you back to the real authority, which is the word of God. And this is what I'm gonna to continue to do. We're certainly entering, if not already, into the window that we spoke about. So if you don't know what the window is, please go back to the video and the series where we explain what that window is. 
within the window anything is possible in fact anything is possible outside of the window this is not our control is not our determination this is only what the lord shows us the signs that he shows us the insight the revelation which has to match scripture which has to match the world events as those three components come together then we are all able to see things better so it is my understanding that we will see things in revelation to his watchmen his prophets and all of the people there are appointed by the lord to say things to the body of christ but they have to also match scripture and certainly they have to be somehow reflected into what we see in the world outside so please take note of all i said as i mentioned i will be sharing more messages more often with shorter and maybe smaller charts so that i can give you quicker information and messages and teachings from the holy spirit and from the lord jesus christ of nazareth who is our lord and savior in jesus name amen